Can you talk a little bit about how digital um, you know, uh, devices and social media, you, you talked a little bit about the news, but, but what it does to our brains. Right, I'll put it in perspective for people. If you've ever been doing a project, let's say you had to write a paper, you're sitting down writing a paper, but somebody keeps coming in and bugging you, asking you questions, and then you gotta reset yourself, get back in your mindset, right? The, then somebody else comes in and bugs you, you have to reset. That's what's happening all day long. The average person looks at their phone 300 times a day. That's a dopamine addiction. You know, yeah. so, you know, it's just like playing a video game. I mean, if you saw, a, a, you might have seen a QEG of somebody after they played video games, we did this with some people uh, in Dallas. They were the Dallas Cowboy. They actually have a team that plays video games all week to prepare mm -hmm. them for the real football game on Sunday. These guys, their brain was shot. It looked like they were out doing drugs all night long, but all they were doing was playing video games for four hours. Wow, wow. Because we don't is... like when I'm looking at the screen, I'm looking at you right now, yeah. there's millions of pixels there. And our brain is trying to figure out each pixel and trying to project predict when it's gonna change next, because it knows they're changing. And, you know, I tell people, it's like watching that, that movie where Dustin Hoffman, they, uh, what was it called, Rain Man, where they drop the toothpicks and he goes, 1,243. And he goes, how do you know that? He goes, I just counted them. Everybody's brain does that. We just filter it out. Our eyes take in up to 2,000 pieces of information every second. Our ears, 25,000 pieces of information every second. All of that data is going in. Now we're not processing it all. That'd be way too much. So our brain, our biggest problem is the filtering that we have. And that's bias. You know, that's when mm. we always have no. this. If you're going to have a bias as a medical doctor. I'll have a bias as a psychologist. Somebody will have a bias as a, uh, let's say they're a footballer. Whatever it is, you're going to have that bias because you have this mindset. And that's why people say mindset is so important. But when you look at a digital device, some people, you know, they, it's like cigarettes used to be. You know, I used to work with smokers a lot when, in my younger days in my career because there are a lot of smokers. And the, they wouldn't go anywhere without their cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Now, if you forget your phone, people are turning around. They're going back and getting their phone. They're not going to – I mean, there was a time – and I know mm -hmm. some people watching this might be going, what? There was a time when you, you actually walked out of your clinic at night, locked the door, <laughs> and mm -hmm. went back the next morning and listened to messages, you know, about what happened. Right. Didn't – People couldn't call you at 11 o'clock at night or 2 o'clock. I mean, we're so – we call it – the that's why they call it digital dimension now. If yeah. you look at somebody – somebody did a study on this where they showed people with dimension, how they walk, you know, they're, they're hunched over, and this physiological effect will create dementia. And when people are walking around looking at their phones, you take somebody with dementia, they look the same. I hope you enjoyed that episode of the Thrive State Podcast. And if this podcast is bringing a lot of value to you, if you're – find that your life is just improving with this podcast, that your life is getting to the next level, please consider supporting it. And here's a few ways you can do so. You can do so by liking this video and commenting on this video and also sharing this video with your friends and family. Another thing you can do is go to ratethispodcast.com slash thrive state. Go ahead and leave us a five-star review there. It will really, really help this show grow. And it, this will give me more time so that I could actually give more content to you just like you got in this episode. And if you haven't already picked up a copy of my book, Thrive State, Your Blueprint for Optimal Health, Longevity, and Peak Performance, you can pick it up now. It became a number one new release in longevity. Go to thrivestatebook.com. And if you enjoy the book, please consider leaving us a review as well. And the last thing you can do if you're liking everything here and you want to work uh, more closely with me as well as my team to get you into the Thrive State, go to kianvu.com slash accelerator and consider joining the home course, the Thrive State Accelerator. It's really the course that I use. It's the concepts that I use uh, personally when I work with CEOs, celebrities and my high profile clients to get them to the Thrive State. Again, the Thrive State Accelerator at kienvu.com slash accelerator. And because you're a listener of this podcast, I want you to save 25% by using the coupon code podcast25. I hope we continue to give value to you and remember always you 
are your best medicine.